What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about Playground Mode V2 here in Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right guys, a second version is already on the way. I mean the first version of Playground literally just finally came out a couple of days ago and we're already talking about version 2. So Epic is moving quickly on this. I love it. We're going to be adding in some really cool features I'm sure and they've already kind of given us a little bit of a roadmap on what to expect. So they've said that the, the, the Playground Mode is going to be going offline on July 12th to make these updates and then I'm a Assuming it's going to come back shortly after that. They have officially said that it's going to be a permanent mode, so I'm assuming they're not going to have it out of the game for too long. And uh, here's their official statement on what the first changes are going to be. So they said, for the next version of Playground, we're hoping to include functionality that would allow team selection options within the Playground itself. Here are a few things you would gain with the ability to select teams. So you're going to be able to do 1v1s and 2v2s the right way, so you actually have teams you're playing against rather than everybody just doing friendly fire. You're going to add the ability for aim assist on controllers. You're going to have editing other players' structures work correctly. So like, you're going to be able to edit your teammates' structures, but not the other teams, so that's a good thing. You're going to be able to have the traps affect correctly, so they're going to hurt the enemies, but not affect your teammates. You're going to be able to see your teammates highlighted on the map, and then finally you're actually going to be able to damage enemies with your pickaxe. So all these things are great. All these things just come with the ability to, to be able to choose teams. And they had kind of a closing statement here. They said, the Playground LTM represents our first step into what a full creative mode looks like in Fortnite. So I feel like this is a good first step. A lot of the things people have been asking for, you know, not being able to edit through everything, you know, having aim assist and stuff like that, like that's going to help out. Whether you're in there to just build and create, or you're in there because you want to play in like little 1v1s and 2v2s against your friends, this is going to make a big difference, just the ability to select teams, and it's going to help out a lot of the issues. But I think there is a lot more that we can do to this mode to make it better. I've kind of talked about it a little bit in previous videos, but I wanted to go more in depth in this video. And I also took some suggestions from you guys, both on YouTube and on Twitter. And I wanted to kind of go through some of the community's biggest asks for the playground mode in the future. And obviously, like, I, I'm not rushing Epic here. Like, they're doing a great job. They, they got the mode up and they're already talking about a second version like three or four days later. So, I mean, you got to take steps with this stuff, but I'm just thinking as like a roadmap for down the line, some of these features would take this game to a different stratosphere, even though it's already blown through 17 different stratospheres that no other game has before. So... Let's talk about some of the new features they could add in the future that myself and a lot of you guys want to see. So, first of all, the basics, just like the, the default things they need to do. Number one, I have more than four people in a lobby. I think this is pretty obvious. I think this is definitely coming. And then also be able to change up and have an unlimited time limit. I think that's really important as well. Right now, an hour-long match is great, but if you could just have unlimited time to be able to be in this lobby, do your thing, have fun with your friends, do whatever, that would be cool. And then also, with unlimited lobbies, you want the ability to be able to leave lobbies without them ending. Right now, there's kind of a glitch where like, say you have four people in a playground lobby. If one person leaves, the lobby ends, which isn't cool. So you don't want that to happen. And then also, I think it'd be good for people to be able to join in progress. So like, let's say you're doing this enormous build and you have friends that like, oh, I got to go to, you know, work or whatever. And then somebody else can join in and continue helping you out. I think something like that would be cool. So there's a lot of little like basic default things like that that I think they could add in. But let's go ahead and get into some of the, the major additions and features that I really want to see. So by far, my number one thing that I want to see in this game is the ability to save and share your worlds and creations and stuff like that. So here is kind of an example image that my uh, my guy CISO made. He's incredibly talented. I'm going to link you guys his, his Twitter down in the description. But um, yeah, so like something like this, uh, a, a way for you to be able to both save your build so you can load them up later and continue your progress, but then also to be able to save it and share it so people can download it and, and use it. You know what I mean? Have like a community hub, kind of like the Rockstar Social Club or the Halo Forge and stuff like that where people can go and they can look and they can find things and download them and then use them. Because people have been making some crazy stuff. We've got like Mario Kart tracks. We've got like the, the you got, I'm sure you guys have seen the, the jumping puzzles where you have to like jump from launch pad to launch pad and bounce pad to bounce pad and stuff like that and, and you know like people could make crazy sniper 1v1 maps that have all kinds of different pieces of cover and cool little areas and stuff like I just think that if you made this the ability to, to really be a totally creative game and create all these different games within the game Michael Myers and all kinds of stuff like that that's what would truly take this game to the next level and I mean right now battle royale is great 
and Fortnite and Epic are doing a great job of updating the map and adding new things in and creating a storyline and changing the map and adding new weapons and stuff like that. But eventually Battle Royale is going to get worn out. Like it, 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 if you've been playing for a while, you can't tell me that a victory royale from back in like October or November feels as good as a victory royale does now. Like it still feels good. I still love the game. I still have fun with it. But it definitely doesn't feel as good. And that's going to continue falling off over time. And eventually we're going to have like all these other games like Battlefield and COD and, and you know, Red Dead Redemption and stuff like that coming out with these BR modes. BR is going to get worn out. I promise you guys it's going to happen. It comes with every gaming trend and really trend in general. Eventually trends get worn out. So Battle Royale eventually is going to be worn out. Something like this where you can save and share worlds and kind of create your own game within the game is something that's going to last for a much, much longer time. Look at something like Minecraft. So I just I feel like that is by far the number one thing they need to add in, and it's definitely the number one thing I would like to see. Now, my second idea that I kind of also mentioned in yesterday's video is I would like to see the ability to spawn items and mats. So, you know how you can pull up the, the emote scroll wheel and you can scroll through and flip through all the emotes and choose which one you want to do? I think you should be able to do that for items, for, you know, weapons, traps, mats, anything like that. So if you want a gold scar, you can just choose it on that wheel and it pops out in front of you. You want a launch pad, choose it on the wheel, it pops out in front of you. I mean, this is meant to be a creative mode, so you should be able to do this. I mean, it could probably be an option in the settings because, you know, if you're playing a 1v1 or a 2v2, you don't want to just be able to spawn out a new weapon. But, you know, in the settings, if you're looking for a really creative experience and you're trying to make a cool map or do something really cool and you want that option... I think you should be able to. And then talking about settings, I, I think that unlimited materials and unlimited ammo should also be options in the settings. Like right now, it, it's it's cool, it's fun. Like it, the, the building aspect of it is, is nice, but it'd be cool if you could turn on unlimited mats so you didn't have to go around and farm everything. I, I mean, you earn 10 times the rate, so it's really not that hard, but it would definitely make the mode better if you could just have unlimited materials and make whatever you want without worrying about running around and bashing down a bunch of trees and buildings and stuff like that as well as the ammo option. Sometimes you run out of ammo and you've got to go around and loot and look for stuff. So I think the ability to either spawn stuff out of you and, and then also the ability to, to, to have unlimited mats and ammo would be a really, really good thing. Now, moving on, let's talk about some of the suggestions that you guys made. And uh, I agree with all of these. Like they, there's some really cool stuff we could do here. So number one, a lot of people said bots. You guys want bots in this mode. And uh, I hear that. I think that could be kind of cool. At the same time, I also, I don't know, it, it's it's weird, like, Playground isn't really an offline mode, like, the reason why we've had, we've had bots in the past in some games like COD and stuff like that is mainly for offline people, like, I feel like if you want to practice in Fortnite, the best way to practice is to just drop in and actually play a match, you know what I mean, like, bots, I don't know where they would be 100% necessary, but it's definitely not a bad thing. So if, if Epic wanted to, to add in bots, they could add in bots. I just feel like the playground is more of like either super creative mode or it's a training mode where you play against friends. But I guess a lot of people don't have friends they can play with. So, you know, you do want to train against bots. I don't know. I, I feel like... Playing against a bot, like, I'd rather go play against real people because that's how you're going to get better because the building aspect and stuff in this game. But that's just me. Now, next up, people have said they want the ability to spectate in this mode. And obviously, this is going to be a big thing. I think this is kind of like the first iteration in private matches and AKA it's going to be where competitive takes place in the future. So spectating is almost a guaranteed. You're going to be able to join in and spectate your friends or maybe when you get killed, you can spectate and see the rest of the, the 2v2 battle or things like that. That's definitely something we're going to want to be able to do. Next up, loot refreshes. This is a big one. So we kind of talked about this a little bit before. Like I would like the ability to be able to just spawn out loot or the ability to turn on limited mats and stuff like that. But even if we can't get that stuff, let's at least have the loot refresh. So like right now, I'm sure you guys have noticed if you spent time, especially with friends and you're doing build battles and stuff like that, like a lot of people land tilted towers. That's the place where it all goes down because there's tons of loot and there's tons of materials and stuff like that. But after like, you know, 20 minutes or so, Tilted Towers is destroyed. There's not any loot left. You can't really pick anything else up. So then you have to move to like Retail Row or Salty Springs or stuff like that. And that's just kind of annoying. So it'd be nice if like, say every 10 or 20 minutes, you could have an option turned on that the loot would just refresh and it would add new loot to that area. So you aren't running out of loot. Again, I feel like the better option would be just to be able to spawn it in yourself. But this is kind of a cool idea. 
Uh, next up, menu option to keep your inventory when you die. I think this would be great as well. Again, it would probably be an option in the, the menu, so you can turn it off and on. So if you're doing like a, a, a battle type scenario, you don't want to be able to keep your loot. That's kind of BS. Or I guess sometimes you might if you're just doing one of the ones over and over and over again. But even in like the creative mode, if you're like, you know, building and you have certain items that you want and stuff like that, but you need to like drop off and kill yourself to go get more resources or whatever, it'd be nice if you could take your stuff with you. Because again, this is more of a creative mode than anything. So it'd be nice to, to not really feel the effect of dying as much, which would be cool. And then finally, last but not least, the ability to teleport around the map. And I think this is great. I think you just like, you pull up the map, you use your little cursor thing, you have a button to mark an area, but you also have a button to teleport there and it just instantly spawns you out and spawns you there. I guess technically right now, as long as you just kill yourself, you can like skydive back in and go to where you wanna go. But it's all about saving time. Just like the idea that you wanna have unlimited mats so you don't have to farm stuff, it'd be nice if you could just instantly spawn there rather than having to build up, kill yourself, and then skydive down. It's just, uh, I, I think little things like that would make the, the mode much more enjoyable, especially for people who are trying to like build and be creative. So uh, there you guys have it. Some suggestions from myself and from the community. I just thought this would be kind of a fun topic to talk about. V2 of the playground mode is already on the way. It's very, very close and uh, I'm excited, dude. Like I said in yesterday's video, I truly think that playground mode is gonna take this game and push it up s another 17 notches and make it last even longer than it already will. And I, I think it's the next step for Fortnite. I really do think it's coming. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you guys like any of these suggestions? Are there any that we missed? Please, seriously, leave suggestions down below and maybe we'll make like a, a part two to this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Drop a like the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.